Hi guys, well you've probably heard the adage, don't take your secrets to the grave, but for Patricia Newsom, she never got that choice. Murdered, unidentified, and buried here without a headstone, but now at least she has a sign and for the first time in 47 years, her real name back. <laughs> Giving Jane her real name. Patricia Melody Newsom. And her face. I can't express my gratitude to the people of East Haven. It was here at the abandoned State Street Cemetery in Hamden. What we found that day was even more shocking. We discovered about five times the amount of caskets that originally anticipated. Where for 47 years, a secret lay six feet below the surface only uncovered thanks to the persistence of those six feet above. It became obvious that we had an answer. Advancements in DNA technology linked Patricia to her surviving ancestors in a database, Sister Marianne. Get your information out there. Don't just sit on the couch. Don't just cry. Patricia, born in Idaho in 1957 before moving to the Northeast, she was 17 when she ran away from a boarding school with a friend, hitchhiking to Maine, never seen again. For me, this is a lot of closure. I always knew in my heart that she was gone. And while her identity has unlocked a life story, someone still holds the key to Patricia's story of death. Patricia's body found gagged, bound, and tarped here in the woods off Frontage Road in 1975. If you know who did it, anonymous tip, something, anything, unburden yourself, because it's been a long time. Now, Marianne tells me that her plan is to cremate the remains, and after spending some time with them in her home, eventually spread Patricia's remains over their mother's grave. As for East Haven Police, they tell me they've come too far to quit now. They are going to continue until they make an arrest and this family does get some final closure. We're live here in Hamden, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.